for proving e is equal to mc square we will apply newton's second law of motion so according to newton's second law of motion we will write force is equal to rate of change of momentum so uh, next step we will write f is equal to d into mv upon dt we all know that momentum is equal to the product of mass into velocity so we are next step we will differentiate it so it will be f is equal to m dv upon dt plus b dm upon dt so uh, work done is given by dw is equal to f dot dx so next step we will write dw is equal to uh, m dv upon dt plus b dm upon dt into dx so here we have just uh, substituted uh, the value of f which we have uh, derived previously so you can see here and we will just uh, take this dx with this so it will be next step m dv of m dv of dt into dx plus v dm upon dt into dx so uh, we know that dx upon dt is velocity that is v distance upon time is equal to velocity so the next step uh, we have just written that dx upon dt so that it will become v the next step uh, dw is equal to mv dv plus v square into dm which is equation 1 so this v uh, we have written here and this v will multiply with this so it will be v square and now according to relativistic formula for mass m is equal to m naught upon square root of 1 minus v square upon c square here m is variable mass m naught is mass at rest v is the speed of the body and c is the speed of the light now squaring both the side it will be m square is equal to m naught square upon square root of uh, all square of square root of 1 minus b square upon c square so square root and square all square and square root will be cancelled out so this will be 1 minus b square upon c square so this is written in the next step and in second step we have written m square is equal to m naught square upon c square minus b square upon c square we have taken lcm so this is and this c will be multiplied with this m naught square so this will be m naught square into c square upon c square minus b square now uh, we can write this term as like this so we have just multiplied this term with m square so here and this is m square into c square minus b square is equal to m naught square into c square so this is an equation so here and this term can be written as like this so by differentiating both the side it will be 2m c square into dm minus 2m v square into dm minus 2v m square into dv is equal to 0 because this term is constant and now uh, we can take 2m common because in uh, in all the term there is 2m is present so we have just taken common uh, this term and this will uh, go this side so it will be 0 and the rest of the part will be c square into dm minus v square into dm minus m v into dv is equal to 0 so the equation will be c square into dm is equal to v square into dm plus m v into dv like this is second equation from equation 1 and 2 uh, we have derived this dw is equal to c square into dm so we will integrate both the both the sides Work done is also form of energy. So it can be written as E is equal to mc square. So this is uh, Einstein's mass energy equivalence relation. Einstein mass energy equivalence relation is proved.